Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 17th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this tutorial I'm going to be discussing like terms and how we can use like terms to simplify a variable expression like this. So, what are like terms? Well, these are like terms and these are like terms. So what makes them like terms? Well, if we cover up the coefficient 2 and the coefficient 3, then the remaining part of our term is the same. They're both a. And if we cover up the coefficient 6 and the coefficient negative 2, then the remaining part of these terms are both x squared. So when you cover up the coefficient, if the remaining part is the same, then you have like terms. So why do we want to know that we have like terms? Well, if we have like terms, we can add and subtract them together, just like we would regular numbers. So if you have 2a and you want to add 3a to it, because these are like terms, you simply look at the coefficients and add the coefficients together. So the coefficient 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And then we write down the a. And if you look at this example here, we could write a problem like this. 6x squared minus 2x squared. Well, since they're both x squareds, then we can look at the coefficient 6 and subtract the coefficient 2. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. And we just write down the x squared, since they're like terms. So let's use this information to simplify the expression that I wrote above. So looking at this first term here, if you covered up the coefficient, you'd be left with x squared. So we're looking for other coefficients with x squared now. And there's one more. We have a 2x squared. So we're just going to write the 4x squared and 2x squared together since they're like terms. So looking at this second term here, we have 5y. So we're looking for other terms with the y in them. And we have one at the end here. So we're going to write those two together. We're going to write the plus 5y and subtract the 2y over here. And so we've taken care of these terms. We've taken care of those terms. And we're simply left with this one left right here. And we have a 3x covering up the coefficient. We'd want to match this with anything with an x. Well, we have an x squared here. But because x squared is not the exact same thing as x, these two are not like terms. And these two are not like terms. So therefore, 3x does not have any like terms in this problem. So we just write him by himself over here at the end. So now we have like terms here. We're going to add them together. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and then we just write the x squared afterwards. And then combining these two like terms together, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So we have 3 y's. And then there's no like terms for the x, so we simply write that just how it is. So there we go. We used like terms, and we combined them together so that we could simplify this variable expression. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned for some more math tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe.